YouTube. Uh, this is Joe once again. This is just an update on my uh, mini polydarium that I uh, finished uh, setting up a couple of weeks ago. So this is not an ideal size of a tank or enclosure to be used. This is a bit uh, too small. And uh, to be quite honest, I'm well aware of the fact that the plants here will grow big. So they're not uh, perfectly suited for a tank with this uh, size. So I'm using them in the meantime for me to be able to illustrate what I've learned so far from the references that I uh, used to come up with this uh, setup. So my inspiration here is obviously the rainforest or places near the waterfalls. So this tank will, will house uh, freshwater uh, fauna. So newts, frogs, and uh, some fish. So uh, the most challenging part for me in setting this up is to keep the land area from mixing with the aquatic element. So that's pretty much what the problem was when I first tried uh, setting this up. So um, I made use of an old filter box and uh, use it uh, as a raise to the uh, land area. So there's pretty much a soil and sand in here underneath these plants and they're separated successfully by some used uh, driftwood. So I made use of all of my driftwood from our previous trips in the northern part of Cebu and used them to cover the, the filter box to make it look more natural. So the filter is just a hang-on filter, uh, very basic. And I'm using uh, some used straw. Uh, I cut them in, in half and then used them to separate the flow of the water to uh, ensure that the other part of the polydarium also uh, gets uh, moisture. So yes, I'll post another update once I've added the fauna in this uh, tank. I'm probably just going to add a few shrimps and uh, some tiny wild guppies for now. So they'll probably grow bigger, uh, big enough for the newts when the newts become available. Okay, so thanks for watching.